Stafford, and we are jumping here into the SK Modifieds. Haven't run these in a while, but we're here at Stafford, home of the Modifieds. And hopefully we'll have a fun time. No cautions in this series. I think it's 40 laps. I was not looking too good on speed in practice, but those practice laps I did were the first laps I'd done uh, in the session or for any practice or anything. So I don't know if I'm going to be very good. And this is a tough track to pass at and a tough car to pass with. And I usually struggle. Big loose. Don't like that. It's not a great time there. My gosh, it is loose. We're going to be struggling. But this is not one of my better tracks. So we'll just have to see what we get. Tracy is up on pole with a ninth, or an 18-9. We ran a 19-2. Tenth slower than Nick, who's also in here. He announced on the Discord that he was going to run this, so I figured I'd jump in. Because this is an awesome track, and I haven't run the Modifieds in a long time. Tell everyone good luck. Nice lap to Tracy. Well, if I'd 7th out of 12, so that's not terrible, I guess. Hopefully we can work our way to a top 5 or something, or just not fall too far. Don't feel like I'm going to be very competitive. But, uh... We'll do what we can do. But we have Tracy, Mitch, Nick is in here, James, and Alan. Good luck to everybody. 40 laps, no cautions. We'll just try and keep up if we can as a number three car. Not sure we'll be able to. And we got to remember that the uh, front end or like the bumper contacts is really easy to get a 4X with, so we need to be careful with that. We may end up getting one or two if we're in somebody's way and they have to get out or they have to move us out of the way. <laughs> Hopefully we won't be that slow. I just need to figure out how to uh, get some speed to start with. It just felt super loose there. I wasn't, I don't know. I wasn't getting it on the apron really. I did a little bit on exit that one time out of turn four, but I, I didn't get loose that time. I got loose in the middle of the corner when I was up on the track. So I don't know, I'm running 65% uh, brakes. I don't know if that's gonna be a good idea. Default is 70. Let's do like that, I guess, I don't know. I don't know what everyone's running. I qualified basically mid-pack, but that's all right. So hopefully we can finish top half of the field. Not that it matters, hopefully we just have a fun race. Have my old police car <laughs> looking paint scheme on this thing. With the yellow nerf bars for whatever reason. I don't know what I was thinking up uh, painting this, but that's what we got. If I ever plan on running this again, I probably should update it. Is there a way to make... Because on the tour mods, you can make the uh, pillar plexiglass. Do they not have that for this car? I don't see it. Is that just a tour mod thing? That's weird if it is. Well, I was going to ask Nick if he knew, but we're getting ready to grid. So I won't worry about it. I Our guess you just, uh, you don't have that option with this car. We've put in plenty of fuel to finish the race. Tour mods, it adds a lot more visibility. But we have Nick starting right in front of us. Let's get everything turned off except the fast repair. Hopefully we don't need it. Let's have us a fun, fun race. I really gotta be careful. 
on the bottom, starting off here with how loose it is. Just got to take it nice and easy. This is a, uh, we got plenty of time. It's not a long race, but we have time. Long enough. So we'll see what we can do. People really warming up the tires. I guess I can warm up a little bit. I'm not going to go smoking them or anything, but I can uh, heat up the, the wheels a little bit with the brake. And we'll just try and keep up and watch uh, Tracy and Mitch probably drive away from us. Probably Nick as well. He's way quicker here than uh, we are usually. Alright man, we're going green next time. Bye. But yeah, should be fun. Stafford's a great track. These, you can actually have to slow down for the corners with these. Uh, here, so that's awesome. Should make for some good racing. Let's just not run Nick over Get on ready. entry here. Got James starting behind us, it looks like. Alright, man. Eight cars in. Probably starting first gear. Green, green, green. We get a pretty decent jump, actually. Got one outside. You're clear high, clear high. Got one outside. And that bottom line, way quicker than the top. To start all with. Hold your line. All clear, all clear. <laughs> Try and stay off the apron and see if we can pull away from those guys. I think we're up to fifth now. Just because we started on the bottom. Good job, man. You're up and didn't get freight trained. They're still too wide behind us, so that's going to help us. Looks like Mitch is in the lead. For now. i to be very careful about crossing onto the apron early on with how loose it is. Also getting on throttle mid-corner. It just want, <laughs> wants to go sideways like crazy. It's like really tight on entry until we get to mid-corner, and then it wants to go crazy loose. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull away from the 5 or not. Let's hope we can sort of keep up here. Kind of losing touch, though. Just trying very carefully not to get on throttle too hard. Try and pay attention to Nick's line. Once it starts to tighten up, he's going to be using that apron, and we want to know when we need to start going down there to get some rotation. But we'll probably be able to feel it. But I don't know if I'm going to be comfortable with how loose it is. Like, it is very snappy. They're having a good battle up front. To start this thing, we've traded it back and forth two or three times already. They keep crossing each other over. Mitch back to the lead now. Five cars catching up. Maybe our tires will be better than somebody's at the end. I don't know. These tires are so big, they don't really fall off that much. I did just get massively tight there, though. We are going to have some lap traffic. My bad, though, Jack. That's job. Okay, the five got a little bit of a push out of turn two that time. We're kind of just holding steady here. Careful of the apron on exit. No turn on entry there. And then massive over rotation through the center.
feel like I'm under driving it, but every time I try to drive harder, it just won't turn on entry and then gets snappy through the center. So I'm not sure how to go any quicker right now. Except just try and be smooth and not make any mistakes. Guys, I'll, I'll run up high. Okay. Thanks. Leaders get around the lap car. We're still getting it sideways. Try and be careful here. We are able to get around him. No, no problem. Gain a little wreck time on the, on the five there, getting around the lap car, and there was a wreck on the back stretch apparently. Well, did you Don't get see anything? Or what happened there? Think we just kind of came together. To be honest with you, I didn't realize you were underneath me. I was cut, trying to cut underneath Kate. That was 100% my fault, Barkley. 0.6 back behind us, 0.7 ahead of us. We're just kind of in this gap. But I feel like they're kind of pulling away from us ahead of us. I just can't get on throttle center or corner. It's just so loose still. Really got to feather it. That felt okay. It's just not fast. Starting to pull away from the five a bit, maybe. But we're not catching these guys ahead of us either. The leader just did a 19.165. Mitch is in the lead with Tracy in second. But Tracy's all over the back bumper of him. Have more lap traffic. Looks like they're in a battle ahead of the leaders. We're sitting okay in fifth right now. I'd be very happy with the top five, of course. Another battle for the lead happening. Tracy looking to get around Mitch. Just got to halfway. Sure, Caleb. Nick gets a bit loose there on the apron, but he's still able to get a good exit. I am just wrecking loose in her corner, but very tight through the entry. I lost a bunch of time right there. Now I'm pushing out wide for some reason and losing a whole bunch. Maybe I need to start entering lower. It's starting to get tight all of a sudden on entry. Enter on the apron, keep it low, try and get an exit. We're dropping off hard already, like just instantly. Now the five's catching us real quick. I don't know what happened. We just went backwards a ton in like the last four laps. Out of nowhere, we were keeping steady. And now the car feels very bad. That felt a little bit better. Huge traffic jam up ahead now. James up on the outside. There he was. He's gonna stay low for us, thank you. 
Clear low, clear low. That felt like my like my best exit all day. I was able to actually get on the throttle through the corner. Pulled back away from the five a bit, but Nick's still driving forward, leaving us in the dust. Got the ten car here. Oh man, it's loose. Watch out. That's the wall. That's my favorite wall in the world. We have a car stop down low. Somebody's wrecked on the infield. Somebody's wrecked in the corner. It's kind of scary to see. Tin car's not getting out of the way. Got one stopped up high. Okay, didn't slow us down much. Ten laps to go. We're still holding on to fifth. Barely. Just can't make any mistakes. That was a bad corner there. Nick has caught the back end of the six, and we are nearly spinning out by ourselves. Man, we have just fallen apart. I don't know what the deal is. It is very loose. I know they updated these cars and you have to actually drive them now, but... I should have gotten some practice beforehand. I didn't see that... What are you doing? The, uh... Discord message that he was running this in time. Can I laugh or get out the way? We're having a great race. We got the 13 holding the bottom. Got one inside. Clear low, clear low. All right, we're doing all right. We're doing fine. P5 still. Kind of just struggling to hang on at this point. Which is weird to say about these cars. Last time I raced them, they had super grip, it seemed like, just with how big the tires are. Now we got eight car here. Got one outside. Gotta be very careful. Still holding a decent gap to the five. Be very careful. Drive it. That's fine. We got a little bit of gap to work with. Coming around to get two laps to go. I think Nick is still behind the other car. But he's right next to him. Or right behind him. Five has closed in a bit, but he's going to run out of time, I think, unless we make a big mistake. Coming around to get the white flag. Alright man, white flag at the line. That car is a lap down. And I think the benefit of restarting or starting the race on the inside line has gotten us these two positions that we gained. Because we weren't very quick and I was struggling for balance and handling. But I'll take a P5 with 0x. That was a fun race. Looked way more fun up ahead in the lead. Tracy, what did you start with for break the checker. They were having a heck of a race. 70 never moved up. I the always run 8 1 plus job, 4 on Stephanie break. He ran 70% breaks. I was thinking it was going to tighten up like crazy, but it just kind of kept getting looser. And like it, on entry, it got looser. So I don't know if I uh, made the right choice moving the brakes back. 88 on the right rear, 95, 88. We were loose. 
very loose. That's that's a lot of wear for this car compared to the last time I've run it. They used to not wear that much. Well, Nick was using the right front more, and that was probably keeping it uh, where he could drive it off the corner a bit better. But we used less right rear. Yeah, we're all kind of the same on tires. I don't know. I just did not feel very comfortable. I could not get the throttle down. But hey, we got a top five and never, never going to complain about that. Even if there's only five people in the race, I'd be happy with a top five. Nine cars, self-spins in front of uh, 15, I think it was. 12, I think that was James. He just said he had no idea the uh, 7 was down there. He was going to cross over on the 13. Just a mistake there. He didn't know he was on, he was down there, and that's why they came together. And the 13 and the 14. 13 is going to grab the wall on the exit of 4. Very easy to do that here at Stafford, and that's where that incident comes from. And 13 goes all the way around and ends up in the middle of 1 and 2 on the track. 14's trying to get it going. 13. Nobody has any idea where he's going. And, uh... 8 car gets taken out because of it. 13 again getting loose out of 4. Does the same thing with his new car. And that's all we had. Really good race, clean race. Looked like they were having a really good battle up front. Mitch ends up on top with, oh my gosh, that finish. We got to look at that finish. Six hundredths. Final lap here. Wow, that was close. Nick's going to have a much better view of that than I did. I didn't, I couldn't see him at the end. But that was pretty close there. It was a good battle. Good win to Mitch, but looked like a really fun battle. That was that was an exciting race for the uh, little bit that we could uh, see of that. But yeah, SKs at Stafford. Fun, classic combo. Always enjoy it.